November also happens to be National Marrow Awareness Month, and every year thousands of patients who are fighting leukemia and other blood cancers are in need of a matching donor to receive a marrow or stem cell transplant, especially now during the pandemic. And tonight we're hearing from a brave 18 year old woman from Clayburgh County whose best hope for a cure is a transplant. Our Bill Churchwell reports because it's just really scary out there and I'm fragile. Desiree or Des Elizondo admits being stuck at home most of the time can be difficult. The 18 year old and her family are taking extra precautions, especially right now to stay safe during the COVID-19 pandemic because of her leukemia diagnosis. Say I get it or I give it to anybody. We don't want any of that to happen. I'll do something here with like my brothers, watch a movie or I'll make Friendship bracelets. Des learned she had the blood cancer about two years ago when she noticed she didn't feel quite right. Her situation quickly escalating when she fainted at school and was rushed to the hospital. We're still going on with it. Hopefully not for too long. Today, the high school student is now in need of a bone marrow transplant, but to receive one, she needs a donor who is the same genetic tissue type. I think what a lot of the community doesn't realize, Bill, is that when we go matching a patient with a donor, it has nothing to do with blood types. It's all ethnic background. Leticia Madrigan with the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center and Be The Match says for Des and others in the Hispanic community who are searching for a match, it can be difficult. We have a less than 10% representation of Latinos and Hispanics in our registry. So patients such as Des that we're talking about right now has a 46% chance of finding their match. And I think a lot of it is a lot of people are afraid to sign up on their registry. They think it's going to be this painful surgical procedure where now 80% is a peripheral stem cell donation. In the meantime, Des's family hopes that more people will join the registry. And if they don't come out to a match for me. They could come out a match to somebody else, and that's still good. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. And happening tomorrow, there will be a Merrill Registry Drive at the Noasis County Courthouse from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sign up takes just about 10 to 15 minutes. There is an online registration form and a cheek swab.